Now let's talk about our weather next. A windows closed kind of weekend is what it's shaping up to be. Jacqueline Shear is keeping an eye on things. Oh, look at that radar. That doesn't look good, Jacqueline. Well, you know, that's actually what we dealt with all day today. So the good news is that it's on the other side of us now, at least. Unfortunately, we do have more rain and even a few snow showers on the way as we go through the first part of your weekend. Here's a look at our winter weather advisory for the mountains as we're heading through. This goes into effect Saturday at 7 a.m. and it lasts through Sunday at 7 a.m. And we also need to keep in mind these temperatures, which are falling down to freezing in some spots already, getting really close there. And and as we go through the evening, I'm expecting the entire region to fall to freezing or below freezing. So we are expecting a few things to happen here. First of all, the mountains have that winter weather advisory because in some spots we are expecting two to four inches of snow, especially in the highest elevations. The foothills could see some wintry mix, mostly rain there, and the triad mostly just seeing some light rain showers as we go through right about the middle of your day tomorrow. We also have some gusty winds, winds gusting up to 35 miles an hour. The highest winds in the mountains will have winds gusting to 30 miles an hour in the foothills and then 25 miles an hour in the triad. And of course, we have that risk of seeing some slick conditions on those roadways as these temperatures fall down to freezing. So here's what happens tonight by 10 p.m. Most of our spots are already down below freezing, so we'll already be concerned about slick spots. That lasts throughout the night tonight into the early morning hours of your Saturday and then we have that shower chance. We could be, see a few quick sprinkles or a few snowflakes overnight, but I'm mostly nervous about this time period here, right about again the middle of your day where we have some wet weather moving in. We'll continue to watch that as it moves out by the evening and winds at this point will be at their highest. Again, it's 25 in the triad, 30 in the foothills, 35 in the mountains. So most of the moisture will dry up, but anything that doesn't does have the risk of causing some slick conditions again on Sunday morning. Morning. Not as huge of an issue on Sunday as it will be tonight, though. So here's a look at the triad forecast. We do have an alert on for those early morning hours before temperatures climb above freezing. By 10 a.m., we're in the mid-30s there, and then by noon, we're in the low 40s, expecting those winds to make things feel like they're still in the 30s, though. Here's a look at the foothills, icy conditions through the morning, and then that wintry mix right around lunchtime, most likely there. After that, we'll just start to see those breezy conditions take over with partly cloudy skies. And as we head towards the mountains there, flurries really all throughout the day there. That's why we're seeing, you know, those higher accumulations because at no point will we have heavy snow, but it really does stick around for a lot of the day as we're going through your Saturday with those winds gusting up to 35 miles an hour in the afternoon. And of course that could make it look a little bit worse than it is out there as some of that snow potentially blows around as it's falling. So definitely want to be careful on those roadways and temperatures do not climb above freezing all throughout the day tomorrow in the mountains. So here's a look at that seven day forecast. You know, as we're going through the next few days, we don't have any very high rain chances. We have a rain chance of 20% shot on Monday. And then as we go through Thursday into Friday, we could see some more rain moving in. But at that point, temperatures are in the mid 50s. So I'm not expecting a wintry, a wintry component to be occurring pretty much anywhere. At that point, we'll just be seeing rain. Temperatures might not feel great, but we're close to normal all throughout this week until that warm up at the end of the seven day.